Welcome to the Whammo Gonzo Podcast. We are live on February 27th, 2024. Coming to you with episode 90. Six, maybe? Six, we'll I say. believe. 96, yeah, I got maybe? it, I got it. It's a 96. It's a 96. So we'll catch you guys up. Previous viewers from the last catch week. Yeah, yeah, we talked about a lot. We talked about the brawl. We talked about, you know, vacation. We were talking about, obviously, you know, our steadiness within the pod. We talked about a lot of realms. So we're very We went down a little back. rabbit hole near the end. We did. <clears throat> I low key was on DMT without it, you know. I like saw my life flash in that hole. I still kind of feel it. I'm like, dang. Oh, I mean, the sequence always is tapping. We just lit. don't question it. We lit. You can't question it. It's just like, let it happen. But I'm, I'm really blessed to be at this roundtable talk right now. I, uh, you got to crack me open one, you know what I get mean? Get that six milligram in you. Mm. Damn. Perfect. Had to hit the audience with it. Boom. <laughs> but uh, we're back again. I'm thankful as hell to be at this roundtable. It's like uh, it's like my man cave for me. Ever since uh, acquiring a you know a, a relationship in my life, which is a very beautiful thing. Love is good. Love is great. But uh, this is like my man cave now. This is where I get my moment of freedom. You need your escape from. I the, need it all. It's great, you know. And from the estrogen femininity, it overflows. But it's good. I'm just a boom. I'm here. I'm present. I worked a couple extra hours today. Wasn't planning on it. It was just like, yeah, I can step up and do it. It's nice. I don't got to pick up the kids from daycare type of vibe. Mm. You know what I mean? Me, I, me I, I didn't have to be at home by this time to cook supper. You know? Damn. I got my run in yesterday. It's like, I'm good. It's just like, man, it's all right. So I got some great information information you know, it's about the uh the corner of obviously the camera land segment bit information ain't gonna dive too deep but i got my new start date i got my new start date obviously i acquired the county badge but i got my new start date got it got the call today when to put the uh resignation in mm. yeah feeling pretty blessed what does this entail? The new gig. You just got a new job, basically. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wasn't looking for it. Again, it came to me. Just like Splendid. this job that I currently am at. Splendid. Oh, yeah. So, very blessed. Uh, it's actually a day before my birthday is the start mm. date. The day before my birthday. Damn. Yeah. It's a vibe. 25th. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So I'm feeling very blessed, I very excited that. to venture out now. I'm like, damn, it just, as this Red Bull can says, vitalizes body and mind. It vitalized my body and mind. I'm like, damn. They trying to get in here? They don't have a key to the third party. Shit, we in the building. I think we're good. MIA. I think we're good. Remember, we're part of MIA. Anyways, yeah. We're part Mission of the MIA. Impo- Mission Impossible authorization. That's all grand. I mean, I stopped looking for a job because I'm like, I'm content. I'm Just saving my right money. Yeah, I'm working yeah. from home. I'm doing the stand-up. I'm risen the Mexican. Dang. I'm fucking... Dang. You're still getting <laughs> dialed in, too. With I'm your getting fucking, dialed in. Yep. You're still doing your fucking workout. I have stopped and, working out. Yep. But I have been, I've had them, them thoughts. I still have those thoughts, and you gotta just be like, let them come. But just be like, nee, 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 nee. like mm-hmm. let them come in. Oh, but I just felt, like I felt it on seventy five traffic today. Go away. Yeah, I was feeling some crazy thoughts. I was like, man, traffic makes the normal law abiding citizen want to commit a crime. Yeah, no, I wasn't thinking those type of thoughts. But yeah, that's what traffic makes me feel like. I hate it. I don't know. You just get gay when you get a girl. I think they make you kind of gay. That's why you got to stand your ground like we've spoke about a lot of times. It's like, it's this day. Hey, I'm going to do this. There's no ifs, hands, or buts. 
Oh, I stay in the ground. It's just like, damn, now I got to just trust this person now. Just mm. let go. Just trust this person. Okay, sure. That's all I'm that's all I mean. But yeah, everything's good. Man, I've been like not even writing jokes, but somehow just like doing them. Killing like just I'll be I'll be like genuinely shocked at the audience's uh reaction. I'm like, how's this even working? So I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking everything. It's like, you're not doing enough, Tyler. You're not doing, doing enough. enough. But it's like, damn, I'm getting all the results. So I must be doing, doing something. something. Mm. Exactly. Right. Progression chart. That's what it, it is. We're still doing the pot. I mean, my money's not up where it needs to be, but that don't fucking matter. Don't That's matter. not the most important. That's right going to come. That's going to come. Mm. But it's like, damn, it ain't going to come unless I go get it neither. You know? Mm. They ain't just gonna be like, "Hey, here's, here's more money. Your fucking money. Here's fucking a the new job." The only way that's happening, the only way that's happening, is if you know you get a wreck and get in a wreck. That's Dang. not your fault. Dang. You know what I mean? And I gotta get a new car and shit, bro. But you piss your pants, you shit your pants. That's like an auto twenty grand. Dang. I'm gonna yeah. just do it on Drama. purpose, yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. If you can remember to do it, do it, and then just lay there, just act like act like I'm <laughs> fucked, <laughs> like I'm dead. That's I mean out of all the wrecks I've been in so now I get free perks and everything. It ain't even about the perk, but it's about the payout. Low key the perk. I though. mean it, <laughs> if you just literally dead ass just like I mean I've just learned now like if I get in an ex- accident where it's generally not my fault, bro, I'm blaming everything's it. broken. My bro, neck. I'm going and you go to that that's my the leg. other thing. You you try to piss yourself, try <laughs> sh- if you try to shit yourself. And then like, and I'm Dang. not trying to be an asshole and get over Dang. on anyone. I'm talking about like, is dead it like ass, a mystery how box? Is. How much is a shit worth? Bro. How much is a piss gonna it's literally get you? Auto ten grand for piss and auto like Damn. fifteen grand for shitting yourself. Damn. Yeah. It costs more to shit yourself, bro. Yeah, because it's harder, I guess. Because like, it's stanky, it's, bro. <laughs> but you like, it's an pooping. auto system. Like you're so scared, you shit yourself. Dang. Like, yeah. And I then never shit thing, myself right? before. This dog. is the thing. And then you you immediately. You go to the hospital immediately. You're like, I need you. Uh, I'm smelling like uh, shit. Uh, I need you to go to the hospital. Yeah, bro. And if you immediately go to the hospital too, then they're like, oh, fuck, this person's fucked up. Like, and then, yeah, Damn. you go to the hospital. And this ain't, it's like some scheme shit. Like, this is genuinely like the accident, your fault. You don't know because you're in whiplash. You know, you For might real. genuinely have some, you know, chiropractic problems or yeah. some, you know, internal bleeding going on, something mm. that needs genuinely looked at. Mm. So you go to the hospital and you make sure. And then, you know what I mean? You don't settle because you're going to have all these places calling you and shit. And you're going to have them reaching out to you, like giving you amounts and shit eventually, like mm-hmm. beyond what your vehicle's worth and shit, the pain and suffering. And then the auto shit, you're, Entitled to, but you don't settle. You Let keep telling them bands. Down, right? I'll take ten bands. I mean, bro, it's more than that. And I'll take ten. Eventually, you get to that point. So, I mean, that it could fall in your lap that way. You know, the Father, shit like the that, fucking Holy Spirit, whatever. You know, I pray that none of that shit happens again because that's just a fuckery. Mm. But I have to say, I mean, that is how people usually get a lump sum is some insurance payouts. That's usually how people like get a quick, you know. It's usually some shit like that. Or, again, a wealthy family member dies, the will's settled, you know what I mean? The fucking person, whatever the name of them is called, settles out your shit. And then, you know, you get compensation that way. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any fucking rich family like that. Like, <laughs> my great uncle, he was like, I die. fucked with Cameron. It's like the fucking everyone else is like, why the fuck wasn't I in the will? He fucked with Cameron. Damn, just because you, like, smoked a cigar, cigar with, with him that one, one night. night. One Boom. night. When he had no one else. That's what I'm saying. Like, So, I mean, there's a lot of multiple reasons, you know what I mean? Or, like, people hit that fucking 17-leg parlay they put 52 cents on. <laughs> it's for 27 grand. Jeez, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that shit finally hits. Leg. Yeah. I mean, I've, uh, it's, it's again, there's those X amount of things that happen. You know, I used to get, like, I'm not going to lie, right? When I first started running, I was run, running the Lunkin' Five Mile Loop. I, I was getting delusional because, like, you know, that was a thing. Like, you know, or the old guy, he used to be like, man, you're a psychosis, dumbass. He used to chill out, drink milk, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I dead ass, like, uh, and I, it's gotten better, right? Because, like, the neurological end of addiction, it says for the human brain to fully heal and the pathways to get recreated in your brain that you used to use daily for your dopamine highs and rushes, um, 
it takes anywhere, they say, from 18 to 24 months, and they can also take up to five years. But after that 24-month mark of continuous sobriety, you end up feeling yourself heal. Like, a lot of my delusional thoughts and thinking, how I used to think about things, and my perception of the world is severely toned down. And, uh... But, again, all that delusional thinking is severely toned down, uh, thankfully. Because I used to, I used to think when I was running like that Lunkin' Loop, I was just going to find like a Louis duffel bag in the weeds, full of hundreds or some shit like a movie, you know? Some Joey yeah, Diaz bro, shit. Bro, I, I really used to like genuinely think like that. I used to think like you know, it's going to happen to me, like it's Dang. going to come down, and it's just going to happen to me like that. And I, I really had to work through and process some things and realize like, it's not going to fall in my lap. Dang. I generally used to think like that, you know, it's like I wasn't born into a family of wealth. I wasn't, you know, I didn't win the lottery. And then I used to genuinely think, too, like, you know, why I, I had that gambling addiction early on in my first several years, you know, up until I put that thousand dollars on black. That wasn't my money. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I used to genuinely think I w it was going to happen. Like, you know, and you go into a casino, right? And except for the high limit areas, you see all the slot machines and they're grand jackpot. It's all blinking at you. It's all pulling you in. Put your last dollar in. You know, the grand jackpots on slot machines, you go down to Hollywood Casino or Hard Rock, it's only like 10 to 12 grand. You might see a 16 grander, but that's as high as you can win on a slot mm. machine unless it's in high limits. And I used to genuinely think, like, I'm going to hit that shit. You know, going down with Wade, going down with Hurley. Like and Hurley's tapping in right now in the shower or some shit. But like I, I generally used to think like that. I used to think that I'm gonna hit that grand jackpot and life's just going to be grand. Dang. Life's just gonna be beautiful. When in reality that's that's not how it's gonna happen. I used to think like oh like how Wade was. You remember that night I impulsively bought like a, what was it, a thousand dollars worth of offs. fifty dollar scratch offs, right? On some reckless shit, that just bad. blowing all the money I earned from the casino. Like I genuinely thought that I was going to hit again for like a hundred thousand, fifty thousand, twenty thousand, whatever it may have been. I generally used to think like that very thoroughly. And it's taken me a lot, obviously, like deep down, like, oh no, I used to meditate in my room to music. That's a good thing. It is. But I like have had to process it. The journaling thing has really mm -hmm. helped me out a lot since we like, you know, we talked about that several episodes back. And I just used to think like this. I used to thoroughly think like it's going to fall in my lap. And I realize now it's the things that are going to fall in my lap are going to be my puzzle pieces to make it happen. You know, like the sequence we speak of, the God's plan, the destiny. It's going to the, the, it's like how I used to tell people when they were struggling to find God, which is like, you know, I speak about the program of AA. It's like step two, you know, came to believe a, a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Um, like when I would tell people when they're struggling to find God, I was like, I view God like in these two ways. It's like a one, it's like a rule book. God is like, um, you know, knowing just what's right from wrong and moral values and beliefs, how to treat <laughs> another human being with respect, doing the next right thing as it comes to you and every decision and, um, choice you make. But then the other thing is like how I'm speaking about right now is like, God is like you pray to God and you ask for something God is not going to just give you that fucking lump sum of money it's like God is going to um, you know you pray to, and ask God for a perfectly baked cake God is not going to give you a perfectly baked cake that's already iced God's going to give you the flour the sugar the eggs, the milk, the fucking mixing bowl, the utensils, the oven, the pan, um, you know what I mean? The icing and the fucking Duncan High and circle fucking container. Uh, it's up to you to bake that cake. Mm -hmm. And once I have like processed that fully in my mind, I've realized a lot and it's brought me a lot of peace. Because like I've realized, again, we can think that way. We're going to get in an accident. We're going to piss and shit ourselves. I'm going to hit that 52 cent fucking 17 like parlay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit that fucking, you know, slot machine. I'm going to fucking get inherited. I'm going to find that duffel bag of money. It's not going to happen that way. Dang. Some heavy food for thought for the viewers and, and just the whole it's it's the truth of it all and i know you yeah. realize that deep down too exactly what as you sp keep speaking about the constant grind it's something where i've just been like i accept it i'm just like we're we have to make it 
that's what it's always going to be about. But it's not just like sell your soul working two fucking jobs like I was for a while. <laughs> fucking <laughs> obviously money was coming in well, but I was still spending very dumbly. It's like it can, but it is that. It is grinding for it, figuring out your next chess piece move. And then figuring out investing like you've always spoke about, right? I mean, it's like crypto could blow up again. There's always that. It's possible. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. So it's like. For the moment. Investments, too. And then you see all those videos, right? You see all these videos on the internet about people like, first, you need to go get you an EIN. Then you need to go get yourself an LLC. And then you need to get yourself a, you know, a loan from a bank for a business loan. They're going to, they gonna, as nah, long as your credit good. Not a good, bank, a credit union, yep, bro. Yep, yep. Not and a then, bank. And it's like, as long as your credit's good, then they're going to give you up to $750,000 in business loans. And then loans. you get a Hellcat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and, that's and how then you, you write it off, too. You get that you Hellcat on, on December you 29th ain't gotta pay on of that the end shit of the year. Then you can month. write it off. Yeah. It's free money. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like I've seen those like people that try to explain those videos. I usually get lost in Shout them. Shout out I'm R-Jack. Continuously scrolling. R-Jack. Yeah. No cap. But like then you see the people that talk about getting those things and then you see people like then you go and buy a foreclosed property and then you revamp that foreclosed property and then you turn it into a four bedroom house or whatever. It's like or a two family Mm -hmm. and then you rent out both sides of that and then you get in progressive income. Why? You know what I mean? You don't have that much time or you have that time to pay off that loan. Like there's there's different regions of all of it I've seen. Right. It sounds great, but nothing's guaranteed. No. And that's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of fucking thought, worry. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's money to be made. And then like you heard about the, risk. the old surge that people were talking about, like fucking drop shipping or whatever, like going to TJ yeah. Maxx or whatever. Fuck that shit. Yeah, it's like, oh, this Nike sweatshirt is worth $42 on Amazon. It's nineteen ninety nine at TJ Maxx. That's a $21 flip. And after fucking shipping, that's a you could $14 do that, earn. It's but like, you'd be making more money if you just went to your job. Because mm. you'd be spending Spend it. more time. Exactly. There's a lot of side hustles out there. There's a lot of fucking, you know, definitely thing. But I, I think the investment in the long run is the definitely the best. You know, like a Roth IRA still. You don't got to touch that money. It accumulates expert amount of percentage per year on whatever you have in. Um, and, you, you know, as long as you don't touch it, you don't get hit with one of those early uh, withdrawal fees, you know, before the age of 45 or whatever it is. It's like... There's a lot, a lot, you know, of ways of investing, I think. Yeah, but then it's like, I'm not going to have it till I'm 40. 45, right? And we I all want it now. Time. Yeah, we want the instant. Instant gratification, that's the whole point of, I'm just going to find something. It's just going to fall in my lap. Mm. That's instant gratification. That's what we're thinking about. Now, everyone's wired that way. <laughs> Yeah, we want, who wants to work hard for it? You want it easy. Nobody wants it <coughs> fucking hard. Everyone wants that. Exactly, that instant. That's what the fucking You see everyone shit online. Shit is done to us. Yeah. You see rappers making money just recording retarded How about the Rose Weiss with the purple It's like, label. damn, it's that easy. Why can't I do it? <coughs> like, a lot of times, they didn't get there without... Like, they looks like they're not doing much work, but behind the scenes, people, they've got managers that are fucking... Pulling the strings. Setting them up. Mm. And who knows? They probably had dope money to invest with at the beginning. So, you know, that's pretty quick oh, money. How do you think they got that studio time and that fucking producer? Man, studio time is a fucking scam. Like, people... <sighs> why? I don't even get it, but I guess I don't know. I never paid to go to a studio. I mean, and that's the other thing, right? It's like you look at from the musical or the art perception, right? I mean, not just your TikTok influencers, but your musical scene, right? Of people like actually, you know, the percentage of making it nowadays. And it's uh, it's definitely a tough category. It's It's very tough category. Very saturated. Very. It's uh, too much. Yeah, because everyone everyone wants wants to be the same thing. Mm Mm-hmm. But it's like comedians too. But at least they, I don't know. Each comedian has their own like personality. Twang. It's like they're a person. They're not just art. They're this is cum boy. <coughs> this is tender guy. This is fucking racist dude. This is fucking lesbian girl. Mm-hmm. This is fucking, yeah. It's, yeah. It's all that. 
but podcast. Mm. I like the podcast more. It's just such a beautiful thing. It's something that's always progressive. It keeps someone going. It keeps something, you know, something to look forward to for <coughs> people because people need that thing to look forward to. It's like a trip yeah. planned out, you know. It's like, oh, I'm fucking going on a trip in three months from now. It's like, oh, we got the pod that's going to come out weekly. Something for people to look forward to. I mean, shit, you even saw Whirly was tapping in. Damn. Yeah. He Watched was it like, on the big screen. <laughs> on the big screen, dude. <laughs> Shout out Whirly. Yeah. I mean, at the end, slowly people finally, you know. Yeah. Everyone starts to tune in. They all find their way. Because everyone is, is, is still, like, there's only so much to do, right, um, in the lifespan of their week. There's so much grabbing their attention. It's like, why would they come to us if they could just... If everything else well, is because everything else in. is getting boring now. Reels are getting boring. Damn. You find yourself on reels, you're like, "Fuck!" I find myself on reels now, and I can't even watch them for more than five minutes. But I hope that's not. where I've yeah, that's where I've been getting to. Like, I find myself in scroll time <laughs> at night or whenever it is, and I'm like, I just turn it off. Uh, that's where I've been getting to. I don't like, really have scroll time anymore. Well, you know, real time. Where you're I don't watching really have reels. reels. I don't time, even reel real out time. anymore, bro. Yeah, I really don't. But you see where I'm saying, like how it eventually progresses, right? And gets to the new thing. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where reels are old now to people. Reels are boring. What's the next thing that can grab someone's attention? Because their dopamine is all been drained. It is. It's coming. I mean, because it's been so easy. Like, if I can't watch it and read it, then I don't care. No, there's still a lot of real heads out there. Oh, definitely. But I think we just recognize what's going on a little bit more than others. Mm. And, uh... We're also more from the creator aspect rather than the consumer aspect. So mm. it's like I don't know. we're on the administrator end. I really don't have time to fucking reel out. Like I'm just like constantly learning Spanish, constantly fucking. That's what I'm saying. Working out constantly, constantly evolving, constantly. like making sure this fucking girl is doing the right thing. Just mm. like. Making sure I'm doing the right, right thing. thing with my family and mm. my friends and I'm mm. fucking good. I just don't oh. have time to fucking sit on the phone and even jerk around. Even when yep. I work, it's like I just focus on the job. Mm. Mm. So true. It's been getting a lot better for me as well. Mm. And I think like I have it's kind of crazy now that like my path is like it's so funny, right? Because I've went down such like a wild path of like at my place of employment of like you know constantly progressively learning obviously with time i'm such a young buck i'm like the youngest employee there and it's like uh i'm now finally getting at the point where it's like you know um as they say it's just like a a 30 year plumber versus a fucking uh, what's the correct term i don't want to say a newbie i don't want to say a fucking fng i want to say uh amateur yeah whatever the term is they use in the union it's like uh Apprentice. Apprentice. Yeah, it's like the apprentice versus the 30-year veteran. I'm slowly climbing towards more of the veteran aspect now, and it's like my shit has been on point. My shit has been on point, and I think it's because, like, I know I want to leave on fucking a great note and still possibly do some contractor work there. And it's just like, dude, because now, like, the the trouble that I used to feel and everything, because I used to get very emotionally invested in my job. I very used to. Mm. And then, like, once I found out about the, you know, the 50% of it is about the help, 50% of it is about the business. You know what I mean? Of, like, and there's times where it fluctuates. And, like, I've realized that. I've just kept it on the 50-50 line. And now it's just, like, I'm understanding things for what they they work. It's like how yes. we talked about as a homeowner. It's like, I get why the dryer squeaks. Mm -hmm. I get why the fucking, you know, the fucking water fucking runs. Because it's not just the dryers. The dryers fuck the, the water. Now we got termites in the fucking backyard. Yeah. Now the fucking ceiling tiles are fucked. fucked up. Yeah. You're you getting... Uh, now the toilet's acting funny. Sense of everything. It's fucking making noise that night. Yeah. You fry bacon, you're not just going to fry bacon and it's done. You got to clean up the grease that splatters. You got to oh. clean up the shit you cook the bacon. So I don't want to... You got to fucking vent the bacon right away. Shit. I think I'll rent for... You know, my first place, I think I'm just going to rent. So when you got a house, it's like times, your issues are times 10 because it's all in your hands. You got to mm. take care of it. So, but then it's like, oh, well, at least you got something to call your own. Well, it's like, maybe I don't want to. Mm. And I mean, I think that's where maybe I'm I just want to pick up and leave at any moment. I think that's where I'm at, right? <laughs> Is I don't really crave a home. Yeah. When the time comes down the road, I want a condo. 
pay the homeowners association or get your driveway plowed get your fucking the grass same, mowed c- condos are kind of the same thing because you can own a condo yeah but where everything's taken care of though they take care of your shit yeah for a fee i like that i like that condos would be better than renting because mm-hmm. then you're actually paying on it you're yeah. owning it like you said but versus an apartment where you get no kickback from fucking paying a landlord rent every month. You're yeah. down at the banks. Oh, my God. You're living this great lifestyle. You're paying thirteen, fourteen hundred a month. What are you getting back out of it after living there for a year? After signing a year lease? Nothing. You get nothing out of it. Which isn't always a bad thing. It's all about what you want out of it. Mm. Everybody got different opinions and views and preferences. So, the point... Of the matter, before you mentioned homes. What, what the fuck were you just saying? I don't the grind. Ah, oh, the fucking... I think the goal is, for me, is eventually not having to fucking work for anyone else. Just have my mm. own thing that I can do. Yes. And I uh, Empty could start... Empty to that. Could start building... Could start I'm at. I sh- need to start building that now because it's like if I don't start now, I'm starting later. So building that the right way. Entrepreneurship. The podcast con- The podcast is kind of like the main juice of content at the moment. Mm. Uh, I need to get back on my like just filming shit, doing shit, reading, learning. Uh, Yeah. Spending less time just ruminating and being like, oh, worrying about this, worrying about that. Mm. And you're already on the right track. You already have a college degree, which is why I know, I'm going You don't right even now. fucking need that you need anymore. Need it. You're right. It doesn't really do much for me. Mm-hmm. Unless I want to get a job with that degree, it's like, sure, but I also don't want to work for somebody. Mm. But yes, so my idea is take these skills such as my networking degree and bring that to YouTube in the form of a tutorial so I can share value with people. My idea is probably not IT shit. It's probably like, here's how to record a podcast for dummies or like, here's Damn. how to fucking, here's some motivation for you guys can on you how to like, figure it out. Without creating your own website and charging people, can you like have your own YouTube page where you charge people? I'm sure you'd have to pay YouTube a percent of the fee for mm. using the platform. Yeah, once you reach a certain amount of subscribers, yeah. you, you unlock more uh, benefit, whatever. You unlock more ways to make money. Yeah, more, yeah. But more you settings. gotta, for any of that to begin, I think you need like a, was it like a thousand subscribers and then like a certain amount of hours watched. Mm. So... That's slowly growing. We'll just do like a crypto farm and just fucking... Yeah. I mean, you could just make... There's a way to just have fake fans that are yeah. just bots and then crypto you just... Crypto farm. Yeah. Egg, farm XP <laughs> farming money. <laughs> I mean, there's a way to just fucking make money from thin air. But like, I don't know. That shit might come back to haunt you. Maybe. But that might have to be, you know, if no one... If I don't get enough uh, support or people don't fuck with me, I'll just have to resort to robots fucking with me, which is okay. But I need to uh, do the make the content first. I need to do the work first, like make these so-called tutorials or like advice videos. Or here's what I learned, telling the people something of value. So once I figure out my little like category, then. I can start. I feel that because, I mean, as advanced as AI can get, AI will never relate enough to a human's true personal opinion and actual views and, like, brief explanation and outlook. Never say never. I mean, AI has its own personality. It's true. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Create, Create a robot human with feelings and shit. Obviously, it's not alive, but, like... It does everything that you need it to. It's true. Very true. It's a strange time. It is. I mean, again, it's we just talked like about an in between. I, I tapped about it last week. I was talking about, phase. oh, this is that was the tens. Think this is the twenties. To, to some people, wow, you're old. To other people, oh, you're a baby. Oh, I know, right? Like, I get that a lot. 
I'm a baby, but you're five years older than me. But mm. I'm a baby. Okay. Yeah. Sure. You look like you're fucking on meth and 50 years old, but okay. Okay. Does my face look like my age? Yes. Very much. Worse. You look 60 and you're only, what, 20, 31. Okay. Mm. That's mm. what uh, heroin does to somebody. <clears throat> no offense to the users. But if you throw shade, I might just have to throw it back. Mm. I think uh, that's just something people don't realize about is like, man, uh, you know, consumption of alcohol and drugs is not getting better. It shows in your face. Like if, uh, say a guy's like 35 years old and he's a crazy fucking partier can see it in his fucking face oh and, dude and yeah the there's a there's this the guy at the fucking the, at the sports club that i always the, catch myself in the sauna like around the exact same time as him on my mondays and he, you can just tell he's like one of those like meathead dicks <laughs> that like you know like thinks he's like the shit it's like one of those like fucking coach pitch coaches that takes Dang. their shit too seriously Dang. you know what i mean like it's like one of those type of guys it's like uh, it's like the the fucking Chad of the friend group. Mm. Like you know, like obviously didn't go to college, but it's the one yeah. dude who would like, who would shotgun the bottle of fucking Svedka, you know what I mean? Or who would like jump yeah. off the fucking table, you know it's what like, I mean? Those guys are cocky to a point where it's like they're just trying to be pleasing. To yeah, to everyone. it's asserting. It's like, and then again, it goes yeah. back to the childhood trauma. It, it's something that they, they grew missing? up with. They're missing. Um, they need to feel like they have control or power over were, other were, people. Were they held back? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> right. You weren't held back, were you? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't either. <laughs> I had summer school once. Did you ever like? It. Did you ever see those kids that were held back? Did you ever know a couple back in the day? Mm, yeah, I knew a couple. Yeah, I know of one right now. Thinking of yeah, they just had like a dark. They're fucking retarded. They just had like a dark cloud over <laughs> them. Like damn, bro. Held back. <laughs> they would just sit in the back of the class. The like, first kid to drive during high school was a freshman. Damn. <laughs> the held back one. <laughs> damn. Yeah, it's yeah. probably not a fun thing. <laughs> Yeah, I went to summer school for English class. I mean, fuck, I I tell I tell Failed people English. all the time. I mean, I did get to graduate or walk with my class. I mean, I got to graduate, but I didn't get to walk with my class because I had to complete fucking senior year online because I was mm. skipping school so much, smoking Dang. dope. You Dang. know, senior fuck our fucking study hall was my last bell. I made sure it was my last bell, so I'd leave mm. that motherfucker. You know, I'd leave during six bell. You know, as soon as that bell Dang. hit, I'm like, I'm out. I wouldn't even yeah. go to study hall. Or I would, I'd check in, Bruh. and then I'd just go to the bathroom and I was out. Cause study Bruh. hall, they didn't check you. <laughs> they just make sure you're there. You'd say here, and then when the lady wasn't looking, you'd be like, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, yeah. doo -doo. I and made then, uh, my uh, senior year schedule too easy. There was yeah. no challenge. I think, no I, I, challenge. think I had two study halls even. <laughs> and I, most of my classes, we just watch TV anyway. Yeah. So I would just come in like yeah. after hitting the bowl in the parking lot <laughs> with John Lewis fucking in the Jeep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just every day I'd be off that bowl pack. Every just day. Like, you couldn't wait And for we that had our laptops and I would just be like... Just like fucking looking at literally Reddit trees, like Reddit weed subreddit. That's all I would look at all day. Just like scrolling and liking weed pictures. Watching vines and shit. Man, R.I.P. Damn, bro, I know. It. That was just the vibe. I just remember that shit. And like, I remember this one kid, like, I forget who it was or something. And like, I was like, yeah, I've got some bud. We'll go smoke in my Tacoma. And like, mm. fucking, we went and smoked down the street from the school during study hall during that seventh bell and shit. Mm -hmm. And he was, he got too paranoid. He's like, nah, I got to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they're going to catch me. I was like, you're good. You're good. Because I was like trying to get him on a brower, I remember. Damn. Yeah. He was like, no, we can't. We can't. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. I used to. I, I I tell that to uh some people in recovery. Sometimes I'm like, yeah. When I talk about how like I used to chase like um 
but like how it all started about like chasing like flexing your lean on snapchat and mm. shit like yeah i'm pouring up like trying to look like you're a rapper or something yeah. bigger than what you are trying to portray somebody you're not and like i would i would tell him always about the brower story right so like you know i think i may have talked about it on the pod i'm just going to talk about it again for the people who never heard it so you know i mean cocksuck back in the day we used to have this smoke route i'm going to diaz voice mm. but uh we used to have the smoke route you know the brower road and so brower was like uh there was this route down in cleves ohio mm. and uh you would go up uh hillside you go up hillside road and then uh you'd go back and there was like a jesus statue to overlook the view yeah. of the river and shit and so uh then you would come back down and the brower road there was this giant power plant you know what i mean they'd have these smokestacks that looked like blunts and people would yeah. always post um, the the smokestacks and people would know automatically. You wouldn't really show yourself smoking necessarily. Yeah. You would just show the yeah. smokestacks or take a video the spot of smokestacks. Just to get high. Yeah. I don't know why. And so like people would post that on their Snapchat story. People would be posting it during like third bell, fourth bell, skipping school. Damn. And you'd be just itching your neck up. like, damn, damn. And I it wish be- I was dead. It became like a Brower challenge. You know what I mean? It was like damn. the fucking. Uh, it was called like the loud challenge or whatever Dang. when people would you know smoke in public but it was like how many browsers could you post on your snapchat in a day damn to try to be the biggest dog and what so does there that mean? there like, was a, a how many times you drove in a circle circle of smoking <laughs> and so like when i got brought up by this older head that was a couple grades ahead of me who me and Dang. hogan used to first get our blood from see uh, how uh the, there was a original rule to run a brower route and so the original rules and the guidelines was you had to have two blunts at least. Damn. And you had to box you the entire to, two no blunts. No windows open. No windows down. You have cracked. you know, you would have the water bottled ash in the dew bottle mm. or something. You know, or if you were fucking cool enough, you'd actually have an ashtray in your car. You know, six smokers. Key. Yep. And you would literally um and you would felt like the boss if you had the ox during the Broward oh, and shit. God. And like so that was the rules of the Brower. You had to box at least two blunts on this Brower route and not roll down your windows at all. Yeah, or you got smoked Smoked out. out. (laughs) Yep. And like, bro, it was a hard thing. And so like that was the original rules of Brower. And like then you would post your Snapchat of the smokestacks and shit. Yeah, and like it would be like a game. You know, how many Browers can you post in a day? Like I remember some guys, I'm not going to say their names on the podcast, but they'd be like, yeah, dude, we fucking do that shit, man. Like like I just remember getting in the car and drive, bro. And smoke. Yeah, bro. Like I I remember it so vividly. Just wasting and like, gas and time. Time, and bro. And the fucked up thing was, you know, that has been a smoke route supposedly. I learned from the park ranger mm. that pulled me over on that route. You know what I mean? One time I got caught, I got hit with a drug abuse charge. Dang. Yeah, it wasn't a possession. It wasn't a fucking. It was before OVIs. It was. Mm. A drug abuse charge, you know what I mean? That looks way worse on your record. The cop knew what he was. Yep, I knew what he was doing. And I just remember the park ranger at the time I got pulled over the one time. He was like, boy, we've known this is a smoke route since the 70s. It probably was. It was, yep. And, like, I'll never forget. I never hit a brower after that shit because, like, bro, you would always be scared because you would have to pass the park ranger station during the route coming back down from hillside. I don't know why that became a route. I don't know either. It's just tradition, it, dude. It was. It was I'm weird. Sure, it's still happening. Yeah, and like I guess that's what kids do. Like what the that's fuck? That's what else? we did back in high school. Else you gonna yeah, do? I mean, because you couldn't smoke at home. You gonna go to Delshire I mean, Park and post? Up? Yeah, bro. The parks were just kind of weird. You Del could High go to parks park. and shit, but like there was this one park. I don't want to touch my phone. This is no phone hour for me. And like there was this one park down on. Um, fuck what was that road called uh it's down like fucking oh man what was the name of that road fuck i want to look it up right now man what's it next to <sighs> fuck what's it next to it's uh off harrison avenue mm. uh ceo <laughs> no no um God, I'm looking it up. I have to look it up because this shit bugs me when I like don't know something, and then I'm gonna see it and I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that road. <laughs> it was called uh, East Miami River Damn. Road. I don't even know that. Shit. Yeah, and there was this park off East Miami River Road, and uh, that was called uh, what the fuck? Here, I'm gonna figure out the name of it. 
East Miami River Road, East Miami River Road, what the name of the park was. And it ain't even publicly mm-hmm. displaying it. Oh, there it is. Dravo Park. Dang. I've heard of that shit. Yeah, and people, it was, a, there was like an old bridge that would go over the Great Miami River, and it was like destroyed and shit, and there was like a structure. But I, me and you went there. Me and you went there one time yeah. back in the day. I'm going to show you the picture. Run it back, Dravo. I'm going to show you the picture real quick. This was like I way know. long ago. We were smoking backwood. I think we were. I already know. This is like way, 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 way back. Run it back, Dravo. Because this was like, yeah, and I know I still have this picture. Here we go. I'm pulling this up because you're going to be like, oh, yeah. You remember? I think you I took this know picture of me. picture it is. Do you? Yep, here it's coming up. It's like right. Oh. There it is. There you go. What the fuck? There you, you remember go. that sitting Indian style, yeah, smoking a back on top of that like old bridge structure. Damn, yeah, so like that store. was another place where people would go and smoke. Um, and then like you know you had like downtown routes you'd create or drive up in Clifton. You'd have like just river road routes which were hot boys because mm-hmm. of like fucking cops. And like road. like that's what happened after Brower became very hot. People just started going everywhere and shit. And I mean. Yeah, it was always a weird thing. That was the thing to do was smoke and drive. Just smoke and drive. Kind of fun. It, I mean, it was. It's just like just a waste of gas and yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is like, bro, somebody would have gas money, somebody would have the whip, somebody would have the weed, and then you'd have the one kid who had nothing but the swishers exactly. or the white owls. And he's like, nah, I'm the one with them. Because remember, you had to be 18 exactly. at the time, and none of us were 18. And you yeah. had to go to, the, what was the place on Harrison Avenue where everyone would go for the Rellos? I don't know. What was that place called? Shamrock. Shamrock, That's yeah. where uh, So Kills kids would always go because there was a guy named Jeremy and Jeremy blasted a motherfucker for trying to steal a fucking carton of Newports one time Dang. with the revolver. That's some sense. Yeah, in that they had shit. to like close down Shamrock for several days or like a week or two or some shit, and they like fired Jeremy and then he started working Dang. again. Yeah, and and you always remember Jeremy because you pull up the window, Jeremy never carted you. You'd say white owl, white grapes or whatever, or Swisher Reds. He'd be like Dalo five, <laughs> and he would hold that five when he said he'd be like five Dalo five because that. <laughs> Was it was before a dollar six? I remember when they Dang. went up to a dollar six. Now, fucking, they're probably like a dollar eight, dollar twenty, probably. I remember that Jeremy always be like a dollar five. Dang. Yeah, he was cool as fuck, bro. You know, he was probably slanging out that motherfucker too. We weren't aware of it yet at the time. You know, he was probably slinging coke or something out that motherfucker. Was it Jeremy from Duber? Oh, uh, this guy Del was older. High. He was ghetto. Del High Jeremy. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I just remember that and. uh yeah, I mean, that was the thing, because there was always the motherfucker who had the swim. Because yeah. you couldn't thought, just go to the UDF or the Speedway, you get carded. I mean, and he thought, to... like, that meant something. <laughs> it's like, I got the Swishers, we ain't smoking <laughs> without them. Like, okay, bro, I'll figure it you out. You ain't getting an apple to go on a route. <laughs> I'll fucking figure it out. I'll figure it out with the do can. I'll use a fucking <laughs> plastic bottle or some shit so that's always how it was and then you had the motherfucker because you would spend your last ten dollars that you had for your milk money or whatever your your shit on the two g's on the two g's and then remember we talked about it before the motherfucker had a couple dollars to get you a mcdouble at the delhi mm. mcdonald's after because <laughs> you was hungry mm. you did <laughs> you did and with the mayonnaise you had to save that cup the fucking Brr. mayonnaise and then you get the one that had too much mayonnaise when you were high yeah and would trip you out. no i love that fucking mayonnaise <laughs> bro <laughs> oh just the times dude that's what i'm saying we're like and that was the saying like i have to express it because we lived in that time the last of our like our parents our grandparents time when weed was still deemed like illegal as fuck you know what I mean? Looked down on it. Looked so down. Now everyone's was just like, it's, it's normal. I'm going to hit my pen at school. Bro. <laughs> Even parents are just like, okay, it's okay, weed. Okay, it's weed. Yeah, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. We they don't realize the time this is some fucking dank. Before we was like in the illegal, legal, illegal stages. Like, that shit was mm-hmm. hot boys to have. Big like, time. Oh, my God, dude. Like, you would have to like triple bag it. You'd have to fucking bro. like. Store it outside of your house in the bush three Literally. streets over, you know, under the rock fucking right. by the oak tree, you know. 
Yeah, dude. Like we went through yeah. a wild time. We have to like remember that shit. And then yeah, the tobacco age went up and this and that. Mm. And it's like we went through a wild time period. Like that shit was always it's crazy. just like all the old heads talk about their days. Yeah. It's like damn. Yeah, we're chopping. Fucking old, I'm fucking old, bro. <laughs> Kids today I don't still, recognize. I it. still remember when like. <laughs> We stopped smoking mids, and then we just switched over to loud, loud. and shit just got, like, a different, different. type of pixel different. to it. I was telling a guy yesterday, uh, a federal, or I said a federal, fellow addict, I was like, man, <laughs> when I first started smoking weed in seventh grade, they had this one type bud, it was called Drick weed. It was Dro. <laughs> <It was laughs> Everyone called talks Drow. about Mexican brick weed. Yeah, this shit was called Dro, and you would smoke yeah. it, and it wouldn't hit you for a Bruh, minute. It was dang. weird. No, that was just Reggie. Like, probably. It did. Amazing. I remember, like, and it was weird. I had a flashback the other day of, like, remembering what the taste of that dro tastes like because mm-hmm. it was, like, my first white out white grape, first hit of it ever in my life with Hoax. Like, I remember the taste of it so vividly. Yeah. I mean, we've just came such a long way. I mean, that's what I'm saying. All the bud nowadays is, like, fucking, fucking retarded, gas. concentrated. Like, dog, you get fucked. Like, it ain't your grandpa's fucking wacky tobacco. No. <laughs> it's like, Dude. It should have put you on earth. That's what I'm saying. They earth didn't have that 0. shit back in the 60s, bro. Like, if they would have had the bud they did today, probably back in the Dog. 60s, it would have been a different time period. That's what I'm saying. Like, just r- up in the last, like, 10 years, bud got crazy good just because mm-hmm. it's all, like, legalized and, and fucking... this and that and this and that. Well, they can experiment with it because it's regulated now, so... And, I, again, like, it's so cool looking at it from the outside view now because, like, I remember, like... How shitty my fucking short-term memory was, smoking a lot of dope back in the day. I just remember how, like, dumb I was, like, just looking back and everything and, like, how it stemmed further. But it's, like, it's so wild to look down back on it now. And then, like, somebody said to me, he's like, now you can just go into a store and buy it like it's the Apple store. Like, the fucking... Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you can get fairly high off of some legal Oh, it's going to be like that in Ohio now, which is, like, crazy to me. You can get fairly high off of some Delta 8 shit. I never so. did hit the Delta 8. I mean, it'll do something. It works. I mean, not Delta 8. Yeah, Delta 8, not yeah. CBD. CBD don't do cock for you, but Delta 8, THCPO, THCO, that shit'll get you like, whoa, I'm kind of high. What is, how is this legal? I remember in like the early stages of sobriety, like thinking like, I could still do CBD. <laughs> nah, that shit could. Nah, that'll fucking make you fail a drug test still. Yeah. It's got that point two Don't THC. No mind altering chemicals for the camera. Point two THC. Some shit like that. It's just, man, it's crazy to like look at it all. It is. And you know what I mean? Somebody told me the other day, it was heck a while ago. He said that like fucking promethazine with codeine is now not a drug anymore. He said that they do not make it anymore, no matter what brand. He said they declared it a, like a federal ban to stop making it's that. Because motherfuckers abuse it. Yeah, yeah. Like, we went through the lean era now. Yeah. The only lean that's left is what everyone got. Yeah. Bro, we don't got real pills now either. No. Oh, I talk about that all the time, how all the shit's fake. Yeah, it's It's all all fake. Fucking fat. It's wild, dude. I know. I got sober right at the time that them shits fucking started turning fake. Yeah. And I talked about that. We had some pure fucking bars, I'll tell you that. Back in the day. Dog, we had some pure fucking yellow white bars. It's crazy. All Word. that shit's just gone now. It's like, dude, like we now it's not safe for people to get high. It's not. Like there was a time period where it was somewhat safe for us still I'm to get high. More now of my it's homies not ain't safe, dead because right? I know homies do coke. Mm. It's like and that shit. Yeah. And then you hear people talking about lacing the bud with fentanyl mm. and some random stories here right. and there. They talk about that. I've never fucking seen that. I don't shit. know why they would do it. They right. try. They try to just use that to scare people. I think. I think. All right. That's some new dare technique. Yeah. <laughs> like if you're breaking down your weed, you're gonna see fucking fet, fet in that I shit. I don't know. I mean, they sprinkle that shit in there. That shit's like a powder. Yes. But it's like, why are you trying to kill your users? User, right? So yeah, I mean, it's I don't know. It's just it's a weird thing, man. People can't actually really successfully do that shit anymore, unless you're getting from the source or something. Yeah, just smoke weed, man. Whatever you do, just be safe, everybody. Be safe. Go to your trusted guy. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so I'm just yeah, I'm fucking. Mm. 
It's cool as fuck seeing the timeline play out. It is really scary when I look back. I'm looking at the lights right now. Not the lights within this room, but the lights on that building right there. Mm. It just feels like a movie. It just feels like a... Bellicula. Such a cliche saying, right? But it's like, dude, just seeing the time elapse, you know? Yeah. Kind of freaky. It's very freaky. You can't stop it. I talked again to somebody today about how fast time's floating. I feel like it's getting faster every fucking day. It's just because every day is the same. Mm. They mm. all sort of overlap. Hey, but I'm going to get back on that, that same shit. Like, as soon as summer hits, though, it's over for everybody. I'm on the map. We out here Something for different this year. Oh, I can't wait. COVID's way gone. We're just going to, like, mm. something's going to pop off. I'm going to fuck around and go to, like, Soak City for, you know, for the first time in years. We didn't make it there years ago because he was flexing on the cop. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I'm trying to go yeah. to Soak City for real. Fuck around. Just get some, like, La Rosa's pizza again like the old days. Like, that's where I'm yeah. at. I need to do some shit like that this summer. I need to just go chop it up at Soak City. You know what I mean? Go to fucking there. Damn. Go ride some coasters. I just want to ride my bike. I don't want to buy a new bike and just ride it. Damn. That's all I want to do. I mean, I'd like to cruise on skateboards again this summer. That'd be nice. That's all right. Probably do to get a new deck. That one old head we used to link with. Oh. Hey. He used to tell me that, like, my board didn't have any pop on it anymore. Now yeah. it's, it's done. I need a new one. New everything. Which I probably is very true. I've had probably. that for years. I don't know. Skating is just okay. I'd rather ride my bike. Yeah. I, I, and I'll, I'll ride the board behind you for real. Think about when we get to the point where we're like 10 more years down the road and we're going to be like riding those like cycling bikes. We're going to be cycling. That's what we're going to be doing. Nah. Nah, for real. We're going to be the bikes, bike people. We're going to be Maybe. like biking 20 miles for fun. I mean, I already do that shit. But like go hit the lunky loop all the way up to like the fucking one trail. Just because That's all I want to do this summer is riding my bike. Be a mate. Nah, I'm gonna get like a little mountain bike. Damn, you're gonna get that bike. stank on you now. Mm. Yeah, I could get one of those too. That'd be cool. It's Hit time. some trail. Mm -hmm. Do that type of ordeal. No Arizona chica. Yeah, yeah, none of that type shit. Yeah. I think, again, the next thing, and I've talked about it prior too, is like it'd be nice to get my own set of golf clubs eventually. Yeah, it'll gotta, come with time. We though. gotta go That'll golfing. Come. Yeah, golfing's a fun thing. Hurl loves golfing. We gotta go golfing. Hogs loves golfing. Yeah, bring the boys out. Th that's what I'm saying. That's Smoke when you get cigar. your uh, pass. Oh no, we're going golfing with the boys. It's our Saturday. Yeah. You know, that's that's what it's gonna eventually become. To you, look forward to those things for your time with the boys. You know what I mean. Damn. And it's kind of scary too, right? We we get back in. We talk about that. Is like you know. There's not going to be really too many guy trips anymore. It's still a possible thing, but your lady's going to have to tag along. It's going to be a very hard thing to, you know, go on the guy trip not sometimes. For me. Yeah, I know that. But, like, for myself, it's like they want to be included. Sure. They want to be included. And you're going on the – I mean, again, I, I visualize, look from a third point of view, third eye point of view. It's like a uh, – Oh, you're going with four other single guys on a trip? It's like it depends on yeah. how, you know what I mean, regulated the brain they, is. For they them. don't trust you. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't trust four girls. Going to going, Miami. Going and getting drunk Miami. in Miami. It's for you, Hugs. Getting drunk. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, it's, I don't know. Because no. when you drink, you make bad decisions. I think next time we go back to Vegas, though, I want to stay at the Circa because that shit's cool as fuck. Yeah. That's a cool place. Sorry. I just want to, like, feel that feel. Dude, that stank yeah. again. We ain't doing it for more than three days again. No. Nah, that's always that's a three-day cap. That's enough. That's enough. But, like, <laughs> that just that fucking feel, feel where you're just standing in a casino. You're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. This is some different we shit. Vegas, and then an hour later, you're in a different one. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, what is this shit? This is just the whole vibe experience. It is. Sensation, it emotion. Is. The place is wild. Yeah, so it's, it's all good. It's great. Yeah, I don't know. 
Hey, we got the weather breaking soon, though. Got to get to a couple ball games coming up. Excited. Catch a Reds game. Catch an FC game. Football. Mm. It's always a fun time. I love the FC. It's yeah. good shit to look forward to. It's cool to have that type of team here now. Sure is. I wish I played soccer my whole life so I'd be, like, a little more emotionally invested in it. I feel like I have to, like, you know, oh, no, anything's possible. But, like, if I played soccer my whole life, I'd be, like, more emotionally invested and look up to it a whole lot more. You know what I mean? Probably. Yeah. Because there's nothing like those soccer heads in school back in the day. I don't know. They're kind of gay, but, yeah. They were, like, yeah. Kind of gay, but, yeah. Soccer heads. I mean, never too late to start. Nah, pick, pick yeah, up yeah. soccer. I don't want to get in no fucking. You know they closed that place. That's another thing that's real sad. They closed the Western Sports Mall. Mm-mm. You remember that place back in the day? I remember. Oh yeah, Western Sports Mall. That was a place to pull up, and it was so funny to me, right? Because like I still went there back in like uh, the last of the heydays. It's like you know talking about the Rollerama. Um, mm. The Western Sports Mall, uh, back in the like the last days of it being open, they had like a liquor store open on the back side of it, Dang. and they was having like a, it was like it was a bar. They would go there for the bar nights, and it was like a, a club. That's a vibe. They made it a club in that whole area, and it was ghetto as fuck. <laughs> I I'm, bet. I'm not gonna lie, it was ghetto as fuck. Of course, I went there a couple times, like you know, back in the day, bouncing between like Game Time Babes there and shit. Yeah, that place is done now it's deserted it's been dang yeah it was like a, a, a hood hood bar the last little bit of the time there they was serving big drinks there people was in there playing big rap music <laughs> hood shit hood Her- shit ferguson kroger bro it yeah. was a time you know now to see everything just <sighs> everything on the west side kind of just fell file off. off i mean that's what i'm saying it's kind of scary as long as they don't move that metro route more fucking further into it, it'll be all right. But, yeah, it's pretty wild to see everything. Oh, I like to stay out of there. I like downtown, though. That's about as west side as I get. Oof. Yeah. There's still the good part in the furthest end, so I'm thankful for that. I mean, I don't know. Green Township's a nice area. Yeah, but it's right on the edge of destruction. The edge. It's right on the edge. I know. It's kind of scary to me. They put a B-dubs in next to the new Kroger now because mm. that's the first thing. If you remember the B-dubs in Western Hills, yep. that's the first downfall is a B-dubs. B-dubs mm. are, are hood. They become hood. They become very hood because, I mean, that attracts a different clientele. It does. But like, yeah, going to B-dubs. You don't see the hood at Wild Mike's. No, that's like whites. That's only. a white only. <laughs> wild, wild whites. Wild whites. It's the truth of the shit, too. You don't see the hood at Wild Mike. Nah, it's, they got one the like closest to the of border of P. Hill. You don't see the hood at Wild Mike's ever. Mm-mm. Never. And that's a wing joint. Mm. But you don't see the hood there. No, nah, you see the hood at Wing Stop. You see the hood Dang. at B Dubs. Buffalo Wings and Rings, that's like another, like a. That ain't a white, or that ain't a hood spot. Wings and rings ain't a, you know, a hood spot. Dang. But it's that beat ups and the wing stop. When you seen them popping up on your side of town, you know, some hood shit's happening. Damn, I know there's no wing stop by me. Hmm. <laughs> and it makes sense. It is. I don't think there's a Popeyes either. There ain't a Panda Express either. Mm. You see pandas pop up, they're putting one of them down Dang. by fucking Meyer. That's another kind of hood. Meyer. For real. <laughs> Going to Meyer, boy. Meyer. Yeah, so I don't know. Letting time play out, seeing shit yeah. evolve. It's wild being like a current day historian. Yeah. So we're going to always stick to the roots. We know what's here and what's structured. What's always going to be good for us. No cap. Mm. Even if it's unseen, it's there. It's there. <laughs> it's underneath the ground. Damn. I wish, uh, yeah. I don't know. Get into some more Somewhere in the airwaves Different stuff Bring back the nostalgia mm. Yeah I don't know It's all just weird I think I might just go get high You know Hey Do what you gotta do Just be safe You know That's cool Alright That's it Man. Right. That's, that. That's that We got our check in We got some we chop up Made it We tapped in We tapping we out We did it Again I uh 
I'm a, I'm a push. I don't know. The Saturdays have been hard now, but I'm a push this Saturday. I want my coworker to be on. I want Cam to be on. If not, we need heck. If not, we need. I don't know. I want. I want to. I want to bring a guest. It's been a while since I've chosen a guest in a while. I mean, again, I appreciate just the the contentness of the solidness. You know, we know it's not gonna veer off too weirdly, but some good weird stank is good. Yeah, something different. It is. We'll figure it out. Always do. I have to. Ah, right, I'm uh, we're gonna go get a Reuben fucking great. Taglio fucking burger something. Uh, so, uh, fuck with you. All right, all right, please.